So with runecrafting finished, I've come into an extremely large sum of money to say the least. I've got 122 mil in the account right now, nearly 123. And I told you guys that I would be using this money on a certain skill in the next video. And uh, here we are. So obviously it could only really be two skills and that's construction or smithing. And I am going to be doing smithing, although the regular Ultimate Iron Man smithing method actually makes profit. This method is going to be extremely expensive, but at the same time I am completely fine with using GP if it makes a skill go faster, and in this case much faster, so... If the method turns out to be shit, I will do myth plates until 99. I really hope that's not the case though. I did grab the agility cape as well as uh, obviously the graceful stuff and the explorer's ring, so I don't actually think I'll be needing any of like the energy recharge stuff because I'm confined to such a small area. It's literally just this little square. So almost three months ago now, I made myself the goal of maxing before RuneFest, which honestly looking back at it was pretty much an impossible goal. It was like 130 levels on an account with no bank in four months, which I would have to put in some incredible hours to actually make that happen. But one thing that did come out of it is this little spreadsheet that I made for the amount of days that each skill would take me because I obviously wanted to see if it was possible. Um, and smithing, I calculated as 10 days. Blast Furnace has gotten a lot of updates since I did smithing, and back when I did smithing, the meta was about 90k an hour. It is about 130 now with Mithril Plates, so there's a 40k XP per hour increase, but I'm still going to be doing a method that's over 220, so I am fairly certain that I can knock this out in 3 or 4 days. Goodbye, my sweet, sweet cash stack. I'll be seeing you again one day. Alright, there's the first smithing, level 91. Obviously I got a lot of XP from Addy Darts last episode when I made the, the 26,000 of those, but either way, nice first level, and I'm still getting adjusted. I'm making a ton of mistakes, but hopefully uh, I'll have like a better overview of the actual method in a couple levels when I master it. Alright, we've reached the halfway point, my friends. 92 smithing, and we've reached the most aesthetically pleasing total level. Look at that, 22, 22. All right, still the same day, we're gonna keep going. 93 smithing, it feels so weird, man. It's It honestly feels kind of wrong in a sense to be getting these so quickly, especially after just finishing runecrafting where I was putting in like 20 to 25 hours per level, and I've just gotten three levels in the span of like eight hours. It's, it's weird, man. All right, I'm just gonna hit like 94 and then go to bed, uh, maybe a little over 94, and I will see you guys then. 94, I'm going to bed very soon at least. I think I might do like a couple more trips, but uh, yeah, there's 94, four levels done in one day. Rune Warhammer is beautiful. I gotta say 100% this is the most click intensive thing I've done in this game, at least for long periods of time. You're pretty much dropping up to four or five inventories of gold in a minute, and that's not including buying from the shops, going, you know, hopping worlds, going to the dispenser and all that. Most of the XP gain from this method depends on how fast you can drop the gold bars, which is why it's so intense. And I was originally going to go for like a 4 mil day, but at this point there's no possible way that I can consistently get high XP rates for like 15, 16 hours. 95 smithing, we're currently a little bit into day 2 and we're looking really good. I should be able to get 97 by the end of today. And uh, 20, 25 total, really nice total level milestone there. 52 levels until max. Rune battle axes, hmm. My god, these upgrades just keep getting better, man. Three more levels to go, 96, and we're now over 1 mil XP away until the next level. That's gonna be a bit brutal, but I guess that's only 5 hours, let's go. I say 5 hours, it's usually less than that, but someone has taken it upon themselves to overstock a lot of the worlds. I don't know if it's one person or if it's multiple, but uh, that means they're Iron Man, overstocking the shop. And if it's overstocked, I can't buy from it, so it's really slowing me down. And it's really frustrating, but... Oh well. 97 smithing, only two levels to go, and only 50 levels away from maxing the ultimate. That is awesome, honestly. Can't wait to finally play the game, man. I feel so bad for you if you're doing Blast Furnace at the same time as me, because I'm just dropping gold bars everywhere. People get annoyed when you drop vials in this place, but that you don't really expect someone to drop like 150 gold bars all over the place, so. Alright, huge level, 98 smithing, only one more to go. I cannot wait, man. I secured the rank 1 smithing day, which honestly, I could have. it could have been a lot more. Uh, but I didn't want to strain myself too much because it just it wasn't worth it But I did secure it by a really huge margin. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about that and I should also have the week So yeah, happy nerd um, I guess I will finish up this last level and I will see you there. All right So this is probably the quickest I've ever gotten the 99 this 99 took three days uh, I took both the smithing day and week record uh, sweaty by the way and uh, Yeah, the, ch the chair smells great. Don't worry about that. All right 16th 99 on the ultimate 7 to go
There we go, boys. 1699s. Smithing was honestly one of the easiest things I've ever done. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the absolutely insane XP rates of that. And uh, we are right next to the cape, so we can grab it real quick. Yeah, there it is. Beautiful. Pretty sick emo, honestly. It's one of the better ones. Let's be honest. All right, well, uh, so you're probably wondering, what skill could possibly be next? We're doing Theater of Blood content next. After, I mean, the next skill will be construction, but we are doing uh, Theater of Blood now. All right, so unfortunately, since my inventory was littered with items, I have to get rid of some different types of herbs before I can actually do TOB because I cannot store everything in my looting bag. So there's one herb lore level 93. Don't unlock anything, but we're going to continue. I think I'll probably get like halfway to 94 with the herbs that I'm going to use. And hopefully we can do TOB after. Hopefully I'll have enough space. After a bit of a mishap on stream, I did end up losing an item to Azolra Suicide. It's the first time I've really screwed up Azolra Suicide and ended up losing some stuff. If you don't know what I'm talking about... Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Dude, what did I just lose? As you can see, I have Chaos Runes, I have Blood Runes, and I used to have 60,000 Death Runes. Um, Ultimates use a method where they basically store their stuff somewhere, uh, such as Vorkath or Zolra. If you die again when your stuff is in there, it's gone. Uh, so basically, I didn't see the message that I had received all my stuff back from Zolra. Uh, turns out there's one more thing in there, and on stream we were trying to figure it out, but we couldn't. I thought it was Myth Darts and it ended up being 60,000 death runes, so that's a uh, 20 mil loss. I'm pretty upset about it, but it's not something to like beat myself up over, so I'm not going to. Uh, but yeah, it, it did happen, so I just wanted to let you know. I'd really appreciate a proper farewell to the death runes in the comments. Thank you. So these are pretty much the last herb I need to use before I have enough space. I was originally going to get rid of the rune ore, and then I realized, well, if I make rune ore into darts, it's going to take the exact same amount of space up, so there's not really much point. Uh, but yeah, after these I should be good. Alright, I'm gonna try my best to explain this, but I need to uncharge my black mask. Uh, reason being, I want to take the defender out of the master stash here, but I can't take just the defender out, I have to take every single piece out. And, uh, I can't really store my black mask if it's imbued. Uh, only tradable items can go into the looting bag, so I have to unimbue it and put it in. And I'll just alk the, the dragon battle axe and we should be good to go. The anchor has arrived. This is my inventory I ended up going with. I've got three brews, six potatoes, uh, three restores. I opted to go with regular potions because I'm going to have people waiting on me all the time. And I don't want to increase that wait time from like three minutes to seven or eight minutes just so I can get some super pots. So, so apparently I don't have to one tick flick this boss, which is really nice. I think you kill it fast enough that you don't actually need to really like worry about conserving your prayer. That's a mage prey easy. All right, no deaths yet. And this is the easiest boss in the raid. So uh, it's looking like a flawless run the first time. <gasps> no. Mm. I looked at the chat for one second, bro. I went into this whole raid blind and now I'm at Verzik, so I'm kind of terrified, but at the same time really excited. This is my inventory. I think I'm good on supplies, so let's see how this goes. No deaths. Well, no deaths on Verzik. God damn it, dude. If I hadn't died on Zarpus, that would have been my first ever raid and it would have been no deaths. Damn it, man. Stupid Zarpus. Zarpus is the hardest boss in the raid, man. That's actually a really good reward. Oh my god. Wines of Zami and Snapdragon, that is really, really good. I'm gonna go deposit that, and we're going for run two. Hi, how you doing? All right, raid number two wasn't as much of a success, but I did have a lot of supplies left, so at least I have a lot to go back with. And we got Snapdragons and some battle staves. not a bad loot. I just died at 1.7%. Oh my god, that is depressing. All right, number three. Ooh, Vials of Blood. Dude, that is such a good reward. Oh my god, look at that. Quorums, Cadentines, and Vials of Blood. That is such a good reward. That's like, what, uh, like 12k Herblor XP or something? That's incredible. And the Vials of Blood. I'm gonna actually pour those in the in the little fountain. I might I might as well, I guess. There's not really much point in me doing it, but I think it is still really cool just to, to have those there. You know, to have the Vials of Blood stored. Obviously, I probably won't ever get a scythe or anything, but it's still cool to have, so there we go. All right, no death raid. Absolutely zero deaths on that one, nice. Oh, that is really good too. 56 more vials of blood. I don't think I'm gonna be pouring those into the pool. I don't have the blood runes, man uh, But the Aventos are really really good. All right five TOB kill count. I'm honestly having so much fun uh, Even if I'm not really getting anything. It's, it's a lot of fun so far. So 140 Adiora. I could actually turn those into darts um, 
do I want to do that? I don't really want to do that. I'll probably throw those away, honestly. I, I don't feel like making those into darts, but Cadentines are nice. I'm honestly, like, I, I would feel bad normally for wasting so much, like, time that I could spend skilling right now, but I'm getting a lot of herbs from this, so I, I don't really feel too bad about it, and I'm having a really good time, so. I really underestimated the boss fight in this quest. I did it in full graceful, so, uh, yeah, I kind of got absolutely torn up, but... It's all good, we ended up getting the Dragon's Medallion, which I think I'm just gonna keep on me, because it does teleport you straight to the theater, and since I have teammates that are waiting on me at all times, I'd like to get my prep time as low as I can possibly get it, so. I was hoping it's buyable from here, but I don't think it is. Yeah, you can't buy it back. If I could buy it back from here, that would be extremely nice. That would be really convenient, but... So there's one more thing I need to do before I go back for a couple more TOB runs. I'm gonna use all of these stamina pots, or the, the Avento pots, because I need even more space for loot, so... Yeah. Alright, so these are gonna be the last 12. Now I have one extra space to store, like, I don't know, Wines of Zami, because I didn't actually end up having any space for those Wines of Zami that I got in the first, uh, first chest. So if I get any more now, I'll, I will probably keep them. Oh shit, that is not good. I don't have that much faith in myself, man. Not only did we lose a scythe, but we have me on the team. Honestly, I thought it would be going a lot worse than this right now, but we're kind of managing. Woo, I honestly was not sure if we were gonna be able to get through that, but I actually ended with, with nearly two brews. That's really good, that's really, really nice. These rewards are honestly really, really good. Palm seeds, more herbs. With the Draken's Medallion now, I only need like a minute and 30 to prep, which is really, really nice. I'm pretty much not being waited on for that long, so. Yeah, it makes me feel better that people don't have to wait for me for, like, forever. Um, did we all just die on the same tick? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Kurt, oh, easy carry for Kurt. Alright, the final chest, let's see what we get. Four pawn, dude, that's such a good reward. Oh my god, I'm gonna miss this place. But yeah, that is gonna be my final TOB run. Four palm tree seeds from that last one, that's really nice. I'd like to give a gigantic shout out to all these people for helping me and uh, teaching me the ropes, carrying me. Uh, it was a fantastic time, honestly. One of, my, uh, one of my most fun experiences on this game, so thank you for giving me the opportunity. And Dave, who isn't in the party right now. Looking at this interface, is, it's so overwhelming in a weird way. Like, there's just all this stuff in front of me and I gotta get geared for the next skill, but I just... I don't even know where to start right now. So I do have to start getting geared for construction and construction is a gigantic obstacle in the way for Max. The cape is extremely useful and it's keeping me from doing a lot of things. Uh, so next video, you guys will get a peek into the most infamous ultimate Ironman method, I'd say, at least in my opinion.